Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the latest news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace today the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of His Highness being honoured by the Association of National Olympic Committees. This honouring is considered one of the most prestigious awards presented to outstanding management figures in the field of Olympic sport. And the Bahraini Olympic Committee earned this award during the Association of National Olympic Committees General Assembly in Qatar. His Majesty congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser for being awarded the medal, hailing his role and efforts in strengthening the Olympic sports movement in Bahrain and hailed the various achievements made in the field. He also praised the Olympic champion Ruth Jebbett for earning the sports achievement from the Association of National Olympic Committees for her accomplishment at the Rio 2016 Olympics. He expressed pride in the honour His Highness earned, which reflects the appreciation His Highness receives from sports organisations on the local, Arab and international levels. His Majesty praised His Highness's successful leadership of the Sports March of the Kingdom and the resulting accomplishments he has made, which reflects positively on Bahraini players in various regional and global championships. His Majesty went on to highlight that one of the greatest historical achievements was winning the gold and silver medals at the Rio 2016 Olympics. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم صلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى ملك مملكة البحرين حفظكم الله ورعاكم أصحاب السمو والسعادة والسيدات والسادة الحضور الكرام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سيدي صاحب الجلالة الملك المفدى بكل الفخر والاعتزاز تتشرف الأسرة الرياضية البحرينية ممثلة في سمو رئيس وأعضاء مجلس إدارة اللجنة الأولمبية البحرينية ونخبة من رؤساء الاتحادات الرياضية في هذا اليوم الجميل المبارك الذي نتشرف فيه باللقاء والسلام على جلالتكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم فلقاء جلالتكم وسام فخر واعتزاز لكل مواطن على هذه الأرض الغالية وجميل جدا أن تتزامن هذه الزيارة الغالية مع الإنجازات الرائعة والمشرفة التي حققها أبطال وبطلات البحرين في مختلف المحافل الرياضية ومما يزيدنا فخرا إن مملكة البحرين متمثلة في اللجنة الأولمبية قد تجاوزت في إنجازاتها الميادين والملاعب وحازت على أوسمة رفيعة 
وجوائز تقديرية من أبرزها حصول سيدي سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة الممثل الشخصي لصاحب الجلالة الملك المفدى للأعمال الخيرية وشؤون الشباب رئيس المجلس الأعلى للشباب والرياضة رئيس اللجنة الأولمبية البحرينية على وسام اتحاد اللجان الأولمبية الوطنية الأنوك وهي أكبر منظمة رياضية دولية والتي منحت اللجنة الأولمبية البحرينية جائزة التقدم المتميز كأفضل لجنة أولمبية على مستوى اللجان الأولمبية الوطنية في العالم كما منحت العداء البحرينية روث جبت جائزة الإنجاز الاستثنائي على أدائها في أولمبيات ريو عام 2016 والجدير بالذكر سيدي أننا قد حصلنا على جميع مجالات الجوائز المقدمة من خلال اتحاد اللجان الأولمبية الوطنية الأنوك في اجتماعاتها بدولة قطر الشقيقة وتعد هذه سابقة حصول بلد على جميع هذه الجوائز سيدي جلالة الملك ما حظيت به اللجنة الأولمبية البحرينية من تكريم دولي رفيع المستوى عزز من مكانة البحرين الرياضية على مستوى العالم وجاء تتويجها لجهود سموه في الارتقاء وتطوير الرياضة البحرينية في العديد من المجالات بعد أن تولى سموه رئاسة اللجنة الأولمبية البحرينية في عام 2009 وأحدث نقلة نوعية في عمل اللجنة الأولمبية واستراتيجياتها مما انعكس إيجابا على الرياضة البحرينية وبلغت العالمية والشواهد على ذلك كثيرة يترجمها حصاد الرياضة والرياضيين البحرينيين في المواسم الماضية حيث بلغت الميداليات الملونة 2286 ميدالية وكلنا يستذكر أن سمو الشيخ ناصر عندما تولى زمام القيادة وتحمل المسؤولية بكل عزيمة وشجاعة وإصرار رفع سموه شعار إننا لم نعد اليوم نبحث عن المشاركة ولكن عن الإنجاز والتميز وقد استمد سمو الشيخ ناصر هذه الرؤية الثاقبة والاستراتيجية المبنية على أسس علمية من واقعنا وبما يتناسب مع إمكانياتنا وحظى بكل الدعم والتوجيه والتشجيع من لدن جلالتكم حافظكم الله ورعاكم ومشروع جلالتكم الإصلاحي الرائع العظيم الذي أحدث نقلة في البحرين الغالية في مختلف المجالات وكان خير استثمار في الإنسان البحريني وقدراته وأنتم سيدي حفظكم الله من وجه ودعم وبارك بتأسيس اللجنة الأولمبية البحرينية في عام 1979 وها هي البحرين تقطف ثمار غرسكم ورعايتكم الكريمة أدام الله عزكم وها هو اليوم يتواصل عطاؤكم ورعايتكم الكريمة ونحن بكل الفخر والاعتزاز نتشرف بلغاء جلالتكم حفظكم الله ورعاكم وختاما نعاهدكم سيدي كما عهدتمونا سنظل الجنود الأوفياء للبحرين وقيادتها الكريمة حفظها الله ورعاها والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته
His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a written letter to the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, to participate in the 37th GCC summit to be hosted by Bahrain in December. The invitation was conveyed by Bahrain Shaji Affairs in Qatar, Nasser Faris Al Qatami, to Qatari Foreign Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdurrahman Al Thani. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a written letter to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said of Oman, inviting him to participate in the 37th GCC summit, which will be hosted by Bahrain in December. The letter was delivered by Bahrain Shaji de Fez in Oman, Khalid Ahmed Al Mansur, to the head of the GCC Directorate at the Omani Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Wahhabi. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Al Ghudabiyah Palace today a number of members of the royal family. The Prime Minister affirmed the importance of strengthening ties amongst Bahraini citizens and noted that Bahrainis have national values which form a solid foundation for joint action and goals that are in favour of the nation and its people and also meet the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, who leads the nation's march with devotion and sincerity for the sake of his people. His Royal Highness said that these meetings are an opportunity for exchanging views regarding the country's issues and fulfilling the needs of citizens. His Royal Highness also noted that the aspirations for Bahrain's future are big, thanks to the cooperation to, of all to accomplish further achievements that benefit the country as a whole. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gurubia Palace today the Chairman of Ali United Bank's Board of Directors, Hamad Mashari Al Khumedi, and the Bank's Board Members. He affirmed the Government's keenness on adopting economic tools that will enable financial and banking institutions to continue to expand in Bahrain. The Prime Minister affirmed that the Government continues to support the financial and banking sector as one of the leading supporters of economic activity in the Kingdom. He highlighted the role of Ahli United Bank and its prestigious status as a financial institution on both the regional and international stages, noting its success despite the prevailing regional and global economic conditions.
The Royal Highness stressed the government's keenness on adopting strategies that reinforce its role as an incubator for financial institutions and that it continues to launch more programmes in order to achieve that goal. He highlighted the achievements of the Ali Bank in training and employing Bahraini cadres and its effective participation in various financial activities. He went on to review the bank's plans and its current and future programmes and noted its endeavour to expand its activities in the kingdom, stating that it reflects the stability of the economic environment the government has created in Bahrain. Mr al Humedi expressed thanks to the kingdom's government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, for the support it provides to financial institutions in Bahrain and for the facilities and regulations that attract capital and investment, commending the role of His Royal Highness in establishing a banking and finance sector that has a strong presence and a distinctive stature in the region. Bahrain Royal Endurance Team, led by His Highness the Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and Captain of the Team, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has added a new achievement to their series of outstanding accomplishments after winning the Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Sports Creativity Award as the best Arab team. Receiving such a prestigious honour follows the team's victory in the World Youth Endurance Championship held in Chile last year. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that receiving this highly regarded honour for the Bahrain Endurance Team would not have been possible without the unwavering support extended to the sporting movement in the Kingdom by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who is attentively and constantly following the sport. He noted that His Majesty's backing of Bahraini jockeys during their participation in all competitions has lifted their spirits and motivated them to achieve even greater results. He also praised the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, for Bahraini sport and the interest of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Highness expressed pride in the Royal Team's winning of the award of the Vice President and Prime Minister of the United Arab Emirates and Emir of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who is always keen on establishing the principles of innovation, creativity and excellence in various institutions, especially in sports. Sheikh Nasser stated the importance of the award for its credibility in the sports field. His Highness affirmed that the accomplishment was a result of the hard work of all the team members and the administrative, technical and media crews. Sheikh Nasser revealed that they are going on to proceed on making both long and short-term plans and strategies that guarantee continued success on a global level. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Confederation of West Asian Athletic Associations and President of Bahrain Athletic Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa on Arab Best Award. He also congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of the Bahrain Athletics Association's achievement on the accomplishment of the Best Arab Association awarded by Arab Best Company during the awards distribution held recently in the Moroccan city of Marrakesh in recognition of outstanding innovative athletic associations in the Arab world. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed that this award is the result of the support of His Majesty the King to the Mother of All Games, as well as the support of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the efforts of all members of the association and member clubs. His Highness expressed pride in the award, adding that it enhances the Kingdom of Bahrain's position on the global sports map. He stated that the award will motivate the association to exert further efforts to make more achievements in the future. Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain attaches great importance to sustainable development in order to achieve development and growth.
Speaking today at the Asian Parliamentary Assembly held in Cambodia, he said Bahrain adopted proactive steps in consolidating the principles of sustainable development within the vision of the Kingdom of Bahrain 2030. Amullah noted the important role of Bahrain's legislative authority when discussing the government's programs for the years 2014 to 2018, which has focused on the priorities that will help to achieve objectives of sustainable development. He also referred to the final statement issued by the 20th meeting of the heads of parliaments and consultative councils of Arab Gulf states, hosted recently by Bahrain, where the statement stressed the importance of unifying efforts to achieve food security and youth empowerment, in addition to the adoption of a common vision to deal with the threat of terrorism and terrorist organizations. First Deputy Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ali Al-Aradi, chaired today the weekly meeting with the Council approving a draft law regarding the cost of living allowance. The Council also discussed the reports on amending the Criminal Procedure Code law and approved another report regarding applying the fingerprint system for people who are arriving in the Kingdom by air, land or sea. The meeting then approved a proposal on coastal rehabilitation and establishing public parks to practice walking, swimming, sports and fishing. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, headed Bahrain's delegation to the 35th Gulf Cooperation Council Interior Ministers' Meeting, held in the Saudi capital, Riyadh. The Saudi Crown Prince, First Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Interior, His Highness Prince Mohammed bin Nayaf bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, chaired the meeting, which discussed a number of security issues that will enhance joint security and preserve the achievements of GCC countries attained through the march of the Council. On this occasion, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa expressed his sincere appreciation to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia for hosting this meeting and for its warm reception and hospitality. He also expressed thanks to the Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council and all members of the Secretariat of the Council. The Interior Minister highlighted the joint security exercise, Arabian Gulf Security One, referring in this regard to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's keenness to follow up on the exercises and his attendance of His Majesty to the final phase of the exercise accompanied by all GCC Interior Ministers. He also expressed his thanks to the Ministers of Interior for their positive statements on the exercise during the preparatory meeting, emphasising that it boosts the confidence of looking forward to even more joint coordination and exercises between various security agencies. Sheikh Rashid underlined the topics tackled in the meeting concerning strengthening security cooperation and the review of recommendations reached by the relevant committees in line with regional developments and current challenges that call for increased security coordination and cooperation in addition to unified efforts. He also invited GCC interior ministers to attend the 36th session that will be held in the Kingdom of Bahrain, wishing GCC countries further security and stability. The Interior Ministers expressed their thanks and appreciation for the efforts exerted by the custodian of the two holy mosques to promote GCC joint action in order to achieve the aspirations of the citizens of GCC countries. They also expressed their pride and appreciation in the exceptional level of the Arabian Gulf Security One exercise that was held under the patronage of His Majesty the King, praising the participation of the GCC security agencies, which cements the country's cohesion. The ministers stressed their gratitude for the tireless efforts made by Bahrain's interior ministry under the leadership of Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa that reflected the level of security readiness and high efficiency enjoyed by the security forces of the GCC, which will lead to harmonization and consistency in the field of cooperation amongst all security bodies. They also expressed their appreciation for the coordination and cooperation between security bodies in GCC countries to combat terrorist acts that are committed by extremist organizations. They asserted the GCC's determination to continue the battle against terrorism and dry up its funding sources in addition to enhancing cooperation with the international community in this regard. They went on to condemn as terrorists the recent Houthi militias firing of ballistic missiles towards the holy city of Mecca. The Interior Minister added that his GCC counterparts were briefed on the achievements of the GCC Emergency Management Centre and its future vision as they lauded the efforts exerted to enhance joint cooperation and coordination. 
During the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa's participation in the dinner banquet hosted by the Bahraini British Friendship Society in the United Kingdom, he affirmed that the course of relations between Bahrain and the UK is witnessing a remarkable progress in all areas of cooperation. Sheikh Khalid praised the historical relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom and the progress in various fields after more than 200 years of collaboration, which has resulted in the important growth of these ties on political, economic and military levels. The Minister said that the Prince of Wales' visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain, his exploration of Bahraini society and its diversity and what sets it apart with tolerance and coexistence between all of its components, was an additional opportunity to expand the historic relations between the two countries and long distinguished relations. Sheikh Khalid said he is looking forward to UK Prime Minister Theresa May's visit to Bahrain in December, which underlines the strategic value represented by the bilateral relations of the two countries and reflects the common determination to promote further prospects for cooperation on all levels. The Minister praised the role of the Bahraini British Friendship Society in strengthening relations between Bahrain and the UK, wishing continuous success in the various activities that aim to strengthen ties between the members of Bahraini society on the public and official levels. British Under Secretary of State for Middle East Affairs Tobias Elwood affirmed the strength and diversity of the distinct ties between the UK and Bahrain, praising the constant progress of these relations at all levels. Delegated by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed participated in the first Global Conference for Sustainable Transport held in the Republic of Turkmenistan, accepting the invitation of the President of Turkmenistan, Gurban Guli Berdi Muhammedu, from the 26th until the 27th of November 2017. The conference commenced with ministers' meetings, with a plenary session resulting in a statement about the importance of states compliance with treaties on transport and their future aspirations regarding the development of projects that deal with transport. Subjects regarding the need to stop using old means of transportation and replace them with modern ones were discussed as they are not compatible with the globally recognised health and environmental requirements, as well as the lack of security and safety conditions, which can increase the problems faced by society and impede the process of economic development. The conference also touched on energy sources that finance these means and how to find a safe diversity that ensures preservation of those means amongst the highest specifications, as well as the need to focus on the infrastructure of modern transportation without damaging nature or influence nor its residents. The Kingdom of Bahrain is marking, on the 1st of December, the Bahraini Women's Day, which is this year celebrates the achievements of Bahraini female workers in the judicial and legal fields. Public Prosecutor Abdullah Al-Khashram confirmed that the wise leadership support to female workers in this sector has significantly contributed to their excellence. Compared to other countries in the region, Bahrain has reached an advanced level in the field of human development by applying the United Nations principle and eliminating any kind of discrimination amongst workers which based on uh, gender, job creation and atmosphere. All of this with custom and traditions. All of this with Bahraini custom and traditions uh, led women to enter workplace at all level and times uh, achieved uh, development in many areas as well as created uh, a, spo a supportive uh, workplace environment for women with no obstacles.